Can I just say, before we do anything else, I know this is really naughty, but can I get you and Gloria to just come and stand in oh, front of the desk? Yes, it is hilarious. This is hilarious. Oh, hilarious. I know. I, <laughs> Look I, at mean, this. I know that I'm a three-foot Irish dwarf. I know that. You don't have to tell me. But I know. <laughs> Dancing. Imagine if you were dancing. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, you don't need to see to you up. You'd have to lift me up. <laughs> Quite good at the lifts, not much good at Are action you? movement. Would you do strictly? And your brother's taller than you. Oh, yeah, my big Phil, six foot nine, so. And you're, wow. yeah, yeah. Wow. So I'm only six foot six, Thank I'm you. the shortest. Well, would you do strictly or something like that? In a heartbeat. Would you? Uh, oh. I was due to do um, Dances with the Stars Australia, but unfortunately that's been postponed. OK. Uh, I've agreed it. Um, I had a word with my wife about it, and she says, you're fine to do it, but you are un under no circumstances allowed to fall in love with your dance partner. Yeah, that's, that's, oh. that's, that's, that's pretty that's fair. fair. That's enough. fair that's enough. fair enough. Do you know what I want to know, though? Because the knowledge is quite incredible. Were you just born a genius? Simple as that. Uh, honestly, yes, but... Uh... <laughs> No, I mean, it's what's happened. I'm lucky. I've been born with, with two academic gifts. One is uh, I got an ability to do numbers with my fa from my father, so by the time I was four, I knew my times table, which meant academic life was pretty easy. But you've got to learn on it and work on it, and I'm lucky I just remember things. I've got an interest in things, and so that's how I pick things up. So, for example, when going shopping with Katie in New York or whatever, while she's checking out where things, I'm looking at the labels, etc. It means I got far better at women's fashion than I ever used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been labelled the beast and everything, and I heard that basically, which I think is absolutely fantastic, that the producers actually give you double portions. Is that true? Uh, there was a long while where... <laughs> how would I put it this way? They see me going to get fruit at the, uh, for the dessert table and they said, not you. Get over there and have a pudding. <laughs> they get really upset when I lose weight. I mean, I'm down about 10 kilos at the moment. They're already getting a bit nervous about it. Oh. So they're pushing the chocolate yeah. all your way. Like and I can resist it once, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've met the beast. Shall we meet the beauty? Please yes. welcome Katie Levette. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You, welcome, you? welcome. Yes. Now, just while we were, we were looking at the competition there, um, we, we were having a little chat, and, Mark, you said you're the kind of guy who you can tell you what the capital of Estonia is, but you can't tell you... You can't understand what a woman giving you the eye from the other side of a bar <laughs> means. You cannot read a woman with a road map. So, luckily, you met a nice lady with sat -nav. <laughs> 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 How did the two of you get together? Um, well, we had some mutual friends, um, and... We basically, it came from a mistake. Mark um, misunderstood something I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it was a good mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, it just kind of came from that. But um, we met five years ago um, together for four and married for three. So oh, lovely. lovely. Did you have to do all the running, though, to... Was he a bit, like, not forthcoming? No. You were flirting no. with him and... I think it was more the other way around. So what do you think? <laughs> what, what do you think of Piers Morgan then, when he said that really rude comment about your punching above your waist? I thought it was. Oh well, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I was with it when it happened. It was hilarious. How tall are you actually? I'm five eight. Ah, so ah. you can wear heels. Oh, yeah, I've got big ones on at the moment. <laughs> and so everyone knows him as the Beast. Is he a beast at home? No, he's oh. a big softy. Ah, oh. huge softy. Well, that's gorgeous. You got your cuddly, cuddly treat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what people might not realise. Is and you didn't realise when you when you first sort of met. Is your actually is it second cousins? You're, yeah, it wasn't something related. we were aware of at the time. Yeah. It's, uh, um, it just one of the things that happened. It's uh, I'd been a single man for a long while, and so I was getting used to the idea of being on your own because. Especially a bachelor, we can be pretty selfish. You get used to doing what you want to do all the time. Yeah. And as a couple of my friends pointed out, uh, they said the big challenge for me was learning to adapt to being with someone else. And as it would be. Some would say I'm still struggling with that, but I, I'm, do, I'm doing my get best. In there. Does he do a lot of swatting at home? Do you have to go and put him through his paces? Well, I'm going to Australia yeah. in set Saturday, so I'm learning up on actually, aging geography right now. That's a really interesting point because you do it in in America, and now you're going to Australia, so you must have to swat up different yeah. things, different going. politics, etc. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's an art to it, and you learn how to 
work out what kind of things they're going to be asking you on. But, but plus, I'm lucky, if you're interested in something, hmm. you tend to learn it. And I'm interested in a lot of things. The subject, for example, I've got no interest in, horse racing and, famously, ah. soap operas. Oh. <laughs> and luckily, you found a beautiful woman to be interested yeah. in. She has changed your life.